folks. Here we are in the garden. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to trim up my tomato plants and give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to trim them. Uh, it won't be uh, exhaustive. It's just going to be some work. So come along with me. We'll work in the garden. If you really want to know how to trim determinates and indeterminate tomato plants, I'll link you to my video that I've done on that, uh, that subject that is exhaustive. But today, man, I just got to get these tomato plants cleared up and opened up. They're sprawling. They're out of control. Let's go take care of them. So this plant has a lot of growth on it that's not helping the plant. It's even got growth on it that has buds and blossoms, so I might I might try to pot that up. But uh, I got to come in here and trim out all this stuff that's down low. I'm not even worrying about suckers or leafy branches. I'm just trimming everything out from down here that's on the ground because I don't want my tomato getting diseases. I want to open up the bottom down here. I've already got some fruits coming in there. I'll leave those guys there. But everything that's down low, we're going to clean out. We don't want this tomato putting a lot of foliage on the ground. All right, that's probably all this tomato needs right now. Look at that, man. That's my first fruit. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Look at those fruits, man. Wow, those just snuck up on me. Praise God, I got some fruit on this tomato plant. Awesome. Okay, check out the mess on this guy. I've got it caged, but it's sprawling everywhere. I've got this branch over here that needs to come off. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, there we go. I've got branches laying on the ground, suckers coming up everywhere. And I'm taking off a lot of this plant. You might think, wow, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a little too aggressive here. But actually, I'm not. It will benefit the plant in the end. Taking out a whole lot of foliage here. I'll show you. Look at that. That's a lot of foliage so far. But I want to clear out this bottom and take off a lot of the growth that's not producing anything right now for me. And it's just uh, blocking sunlight from getting into this plant. I want to make this plant a little more upright. I'm even going to take this one off here. There we go. Now, the plant is a whole lot more open now. It looks like I reduced this plant by a lot. There's a sucker I'm gonna take off. But uh, this will help the plant fill out this cage a little more vertically, which is what I'm after, and open up the bottom down here so it doesn't get all kinds of blight. All right, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a black crim. It is an indeterminate plant, but it is acting like a determinant bushing out. I've let it go too far here. So I'm going to start clearing out the bottom and opening up all of this space down here and removing a lot of foliage from down below just to get this plant in a, in a, in a situation where it can actually grow taller and stronger without all this growth on the bottom. This is a good example. This is a main vine right here, this main stem. This is a foliage stem. This, this stem right here, this this entire thing will not produce any fruit. The fruit comes from these little suckers right here that grow in the crotch. These suckers grow into main fruiting stems. There's one right there you can see. This is a sucker and it's growing out a whole new plant. And uh, yeah, so you want to trim these guys, these suckers out um, to encourage taller growth. If you want your tomato plants to sprawl, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, those suckers though are what, see this, this is actually a sucker that has, this is actually a sucker that has grown and become a main fruiting section of this plant. But you can see it began in the crotch of this main vine here and this foliage stem. This sucker has grown into a nice little fruit producing plant and there's the fruit coming in. So if you, if you want to train your plant up you got to get earlier than than this one. You got to get on top of it earlier than I have here. But I want to clear out some of the uh, some of the foliage down here, some of this undergrowth, because that's really bad, dense, and not healthy. So I'm going to clear out some of this stuff. This is a much more healthy plant now. There's one that's going downward. Take that out. I've got no leaves on the ground now down here. That's what we want with a tomato plant. Okay, so I wanna talk about pruning uh, tomato plants. There's a, an idea out there 
that you prune a tomato plant and take all the suckers off as it grows. And the idea is that suckers uh, rob energy or take away strength and energy from your plant. That's a myth. The sucker is part of the plant. It's not robbing anything. It's just growing. It's just doing what a plant does. You don't pull the suckers off to uh, save energy for your plant. Suckers are actually the uh, a whole new fruiting branch and um, they'll form a whole new main stem of your plant if you let them grow. So you'll notice a sucker, uh, there's, the, there's a, a main stem, you could have numerous main stems, but on a main vine of a tomato plant, there will be a branch that comes out. That branch has leaves on it and it's a foliar branch. And in the crotch between the main stem and the foliar branch, which usually comes out at a 90 degree angle, uh, there'll be a little sucker in that crotch. That's a, that's a new branch coming out. If you let that grow, it turns into a whole nother tomato uh, fruit producing uh, vine on your tomato plant. And so you can leave all your suckers. You can leave them all there and uh, you'll get tons and tons of fruit. It doesn't rob anything from your tomato plant. Now, the reason we prune a tomato plant is for its health. We prune a tomato plant and we might shape the tomato plant and we might shape the tomato plant up one main vine so we can trellis it on a string suspended from a structure or we might shape the tomato plant to be two or three main vines so that we can keep it in a cage or in a in, a, in some sort of a trellis system that's the reason you you uh, shape the tree you also uh, prune a tomato plant for its health so that it doesn't get so heavy with fruit that it breaks and 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 stems break um, you prune it for health so that there's airflow and light can get in and no leaves are on the ground. That's what we're doing today. That's why we're talking about pruning these tomato plants. All we're doing is clearing up the plant. We're not shaping the plant. We're not doing the, the one vine thing. I'm going to let most of my plants uh, just sprawl insofar as I have space to let them sprawl. And then I'll just keep them small. I'll keep them topped and I'll keep them shaped up. So that's what I want to mention about suckers. They're, they're not, you know, zapping your plant of energy. Here is another mess, messy plant. We've got all kinds of stuff going on down here. I can't even tell what's going on. I'm just going to start cutting and removing foliage from the lower levels here because it's not helping the plant at all. I've got suckers down here growing on the ground. I've got stuff that needs to come out. Wow. We've got plants everywhere. The carnage, it's very real. Now, a lot of folks plant tomatoes entirely too close. Let me show you what I've got here. These are too close. These plants are planted two feet apart and two feet apart that way. That's the closest I will put tomatoes. I've learned my lesson. I tried to get three across in this bed in the past and it just becomes a, a, a jungle and it becomes a diseased jungle. Now that I've opened these plants up, you can see that there's, there's space in there. Uh, this plant has uh, no leaves laying on the ground. This plant has no leaves laying on the ground, although it's got two vine, two main stems here, and it branches off into a third there. This will be a big plant, but I can keep it in this cage and keep it trimmed back, and that should give me some fruit. So yeah, two, two feet spacing minimum is what I'm gonna go for from now on. In this bed over here in the years past, I had them three across, and man, it was just, it was, it was unruly. I lost a lot of fruit. I had a lot of disease, you know, a lot of blight, but uh, yeah, these guys here, now they're trimmed up. They still look pretty dense. Look at that. I mean, that's still a lot of foliage, but look what I've taken off. I've taken that off. I've taken all that off, and that will help these plants to grow healthy and strong. Now we got to deal with these guys. All right, so now we can direct the growth of this plant into the cage. And we can take off growth that is, see I want that one, but I want it to be tidy down here too. So. so now I've gone in here and I've cleared out this area down here so that this tomato plant has good airflow, nothing's touching the ground, this plant will not get blighted, it's not, uh, it's in good shape now. There are three main vines here and they branch out into several others up top. I'll have to tie this tomato plant to the cage, but once it gets about here and about right here, I'm going to continually top this plant and stop its growth. 
And don't be afraid to sacrifice. If, if you if you come in here and you say, "Wow, this this branch right here," let me let me show you this branch right here. Look how thick that is. Don't be afraid to chop it if it's not contributing to your plant's growth. All right. That plant is now much more healthy than it was before. This is all the trimmings from today from Tomato Geddon. And we're going to put these in a compost pile. Now, you can root these cuttings if you put them in very moist soil and you stay on top of keeping them uh, watered. These will grow you a new plant. But I've got so many plants and I need compost material, I'm going to put them in a pile. Okay, so this is my single seed challenge plant. This is a Black Beauty tomato. And I want to show you the difference between a sucker and a foliar stem. This is a foliage stem. All it is is leaves. This is not going to produce fruit. This is a whole new plant. And you can see that if you let this grow, it becomes a main vine. I've got one up here I'll show you in a second. But this is a sucker. If you want to keep your plant tidied up and growing uh, just one, two, or three main vines, you want to take out all these suckers then. If you've already got some main vines going, just come in and snip them out just like that. I'm also going to snip out half of this foliar branch because it's leaning toward the ground. And I'm going to clean up the foliar branches down here. The other ones that are also leaning toward the ground because I don't want them touching the ground. Now I've got some suckers in here that I don't need. I'll take those out too. There we go. Because I want all my fruit to be up there. I want my plant to grow vertical. And I want these three main vines here to be my fruit bearing vines. I don't need a whole bunch of other vines for this container in this cage. The biggest I need it to be is three main vines. However, up at the top, you can see a good example of when a sucker grows. This is the foliage, the foliage branch right here. And right here in the crotch is the sucker, which grows up into a whole new plant. And you can see that it's got buds coming in, uh, blossoms coming in. This sucker is a whole new plant and it puts on fruit. I don't need this one. As, as healthy as that looks, I don't need it. So I'm going to trim it off. There we go. Now I could take this and plant it and I could root this and make a whole nother plant, but I didn't need it there because I've already got a main vine here. I've already got fruit coming in here. I've got a main vine over here with some suckers that I'm going to need to trim out like that one. Because I want to manage the growth of this plant. I don't want this plant just to go crazy and put on so much fruit that it's going to break under its own weight. I just want enough fruit that will uh, be appropriate for a 20 gallon container here. So there's a sucker there I need to take out. Okay, got the bottoms cleared out a bit. You can see that it's a whole lot nicer under there. I can go and put some more mulch down there. and. Uh, you can see where I've trimmed up a little bit here and there. Put some cages around some of these guys. They need to be supported. And I will continue to direct their growth just by placing them inside the cage, making sure they stay in there. And uh, as they grow up here, I'll grow them to the top of the cage, let them get about a foot taller, and then I'll start topping them off. This is what we want. A nice open vine, no leaves touching the ground. Nice airy understory here so that you can get in and work on your garden you can put mulch down and no leaves are touching the ground hey thank you for joining me on black gumbo southern gardening it's nice to get some work done on such a beautiful day and i'm so grateful that you watched our channel please subscribe if you haven't follow us on facebook follow us on instagram we'll talk to you next time happy gardening to you bye bye